The Grand Canyon. A place so vast, so ancient, so breathtaking, that it feels eternal. Carved over millions of years by the relentless Colorado River, it stands as one of Earth's greatest monuments. A natural cathedral of stone that tells the story of nearly two billion years of our planet's history. But what if this monument isn't as permanent as we think? All right, the wildfire emergency in the Grand Canyon is intensifying as two fires are growing rapidly and burning out of control. In recent months, alarming reports have begun to surface. New cracks are splitting open across sections of the Grand Canyon, some stretching hundreds of feet, widening after heat waves and sudden floods. To tourists, they look like eerie fissures zigzagging across the canyon rim. To scientists, they look like alarm bells ringing from deep within the earth. Could the Grand Canyon the symbol of America's timeless wilderness actually be destabilizing? Could forces beneath the surface be tearing apart the very ground that has stood for millions of years? If the Grand Canyon is cracking open, what does that mean for the future of the American Southwest? And could these fractures be the first signs of something much bigger? Something no one is prepared for. Chapter 1 a crack in time. The first signs came quietly. Hikers along the South Rim reported unusual fissures appearing on trails, thin at first, but quickly widening into jagged lines large enough to trip over. At first, rangers chalked them up to seasonal wear and tear, but as weeks passed, the cracks grew. Some deepened so sharply that geologists could no longer dismiss them as ordinary erosion. When experts arrived with ground-penetrating radar, what they found was shocking. Many of the fissures weren't surface level at all. They extended deep into the bedrock, in some cases reaching down dozens of meters. Worse, some cracks weren't isolated. They appeared to link together forming branching networks like veins across the canyon rim. The timing was suspicious. In the same period, Arizona was struck by a record-breaking heatwave. Daytime temperatures soared above 113 degrees Fahrenheit, expanding and fracturing already weakened rock. Then came monsoon rains, sheets of water rushing into the fissures, prying them wider with each storm. For scientists, this combination, extreme heat, sudden rainfall and tectonic stress, was a recipe for instability. Rock that had held for millennia was finally giving way. But then came the most chilling discovery. Instruments placed along one of the largest cracks detected subtle ground movement, a creeping shift of stone that suggested something more than erosion something deeper. Was this just the canyon breathing under the weight of climate extremes? Or was it the first tremor of a geological awakening beneath America's greatest natural wonder? Chapter 2 – Heat, Floods and Fractures The Grand Canyon has always been shaped by extremes, but in recent years, those extremes have grown more violent pushing the landscape beyond what it has endured in living memory. Record-breaking heat waves baked the canyon walls until they swelled and fractured. Rocks that had stood for centuries split with loud cracks, echoing across the valleys. Then came the floods. Summer monsoons poured torrents of rain into the desert. The parched ground could not absorb the water fast enough, and it cascaded into the canyon like a weapon. Water raced through newly opened fissures, prying them apart with hydraulic force, carrying sand and boulders as tools of destruction. Each storm left the cracks wider, deeper, and more ominous. Tourists reported hearing strange noises, 
the sound of stone groaning and shifting, as if the canyon itself were alive. Scientists soon confirmed their fears. The interplay of heat and water was accelerating erosion at a pace rarely seen before. In places, rock faces had begun to detach, leaving enormous slabs precariously hanging, one tremor away from collapse. The canyon has always been dynamic, always changing, but the scale and speed of these recent fractures raised a haunting question. Was this simply a more violent cycle of natural erosion? Or were these cracks the outward signs of forces building deep within the Colorado Plateau? The Grand Canyon may not just be eroding, it may be breaking apart. Before we go deeper into what these cracks might really mean, take a moment to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This channel brings you the latest discoveries, mysteries, and hidden dangers shaping our world. And you won't want to miss what scientists are uncovering next. Chapter 3 the tectonic puzzle of the Colorado Plateau. To understand what is happening to the Grand Canyon, scientists looked deeper, far beneath the surface. The Colorado Plateau, the vast block of crust that holds the canyon, has long been considered one of the most stable regions in North America. For millions of years, it resisted folding, faulting, and the chaos that reshaped much of the continent. But stability, it seems, may be an illusion. Recent seismic studies have revealed that the plateau is far from quiet. Tiny earthquakes ripple through its depths, most too small to be felt, but persistent enough to raise alarm. Beneath the thick crust, mantle heat is rising, warping the base of the plateau, lifting and stressing the rock above. Some geologists believe this hidden pressure is reactivating ancient faults, long buried and forgotten, that cut beneath the Grand Canyon itself. The cracks appearing on the canyon surface may not be random. They may be connected to these buried fault systems, like scars splitting open along old wounds. If that is true, then what looks like erosion could actually be the surface expression of deep tectonic movement. And that's where the story turns terrifying. If the Colorado Plateau is waking, then the Grand Canyon is sitting on top of a geological time bomb. Imagine an ancient fault line rupturing beneath the canyon walls, millions of tons of rock shearing off in seconds, the Colorado River blocked by sudden landslides, water backing up into a massive, unstable lake that could burst downstream with catastrophic force. Some researchers warn that this isn't science fiction. They point to satellite data showing the plateau lifting by millimeters each year, proof that pressure is building. Combine that with new surface fractures and the signs are clear. The crust beneath Arizona is not resting, it's shifting. The Grand Canyon was carved by water, but it may be reshaped by the restless forces of Earth's interior. The Colorado Plateau is waking, and the cracks spreading across the canyon could be its first warning. The question no one dares answer is simple. What happens if the sleeping giant beneath the canyon finally snaps awake? Chapter 4. The Landslide Threat Cracks in stone are not just harmless scars. In the Grand Canyon, they are precursors to something far more destructive, landslides. For centuries, rock falls have shaped the canyon's cliffs, sometimes thunderous but isolated events. But now, with widening fissures and unstable slabs, the risk of catastrophic landslides is growing at an alarming pace. Geologists warn that some blocks of sandstone are so fractured they are essentially detached from the walls, clinging by friction alone. Entire towers of rock, some as large as city skyscrapers, are teetering on the edge, waiting for the slightest trigger. One sharp rainstorm, one small quake, or even the vibrations from thousands of footsteps and tour buses could send them plummeting into the abyss below. The consequences could be devastating. Trails could vanish in seconds, swallowing hikers with no time to escape. Rafting routes on the Colorado River could be buried under millions of tons of rock, transforming peaceful stretches of water into deadly rapids. Entire ecosystems, painstakingly balanced over centuries, could be buried under a suffocating avalanche of stone. And the danger doesn't end at the collapse. Scientists warn of a terrifying chain reaction. If a massive rockfall plunges into the Colorado River, it could displace so much water that a wave of destruction races downstream. Imagine a wall of water surging through campsites, smashing boats, and tearing apart everything in its path. Not because of a storm, but because the canyon itself collapsed. There is also the risk of a natural dam forming. A single massive landslide could block the Colorado, creating a temporary lake that builds pressure until it bursts. Such an outburst flood could rival the great floods that once carved parts of the canyon itself. 
The Grand Canyon has always been a place where beauty and danger walk hand in hand, but with cracks spreading wider and slabs hanging looser, the balance is tipping toward catastrophe. Scientists no longer ask if a massive landslide will happen. They ask when and how many lives will be in its path when the canyon finally lets go. Chapter 5. Echoes of the Past The Grand Canyon is more than a wonder of the world. It is a book written in stone, each layer a page in Earth's history. And hidden within those pages are chilling reminders that what is happening today has happened before. This isn't the first time the canyon has split apart. Geological evidence shows that massive rockfalls and collapses have repeatedly reshaped its walls for millions of years. Ancient landslide deposits, some hundreds of feet thick, still lie buried at the canyon's base. Silent proof that cliffs once gave way in cataclysmic events. But it isn't just the rocks that remember. Indigenous oral histories passed carefully through generations speak of times when the earth trembled, when riverbanks shifted overnight, when parts of the canyon seemed to fall away into the void. These stories, rooted in cultural memory, align eerily with what scientists are now seeing. Cracks spreading, stone shifting, the canyon preparing for change. The difference today is speed. Never before have humans stood at the edge of the canyon and watched the process unfold in real time. Never before has climate pushed the landscape so violently, combining scorching heat waves with sudden floods and underlying tectonic stress. What once took centuries now threatens to happen within decades or even years. And the scale of collapse in the past was staggering. Some ancient rockfalls were so immense they dammed the Colorado River entirely, creating lakes that stretched for miles. Eventually, those lakes burst, sending floods roaring downstream with unimaginable force. If it happened once, it can happen again. The past is whispering, but its message grows louder with every new crack. The Grand Canyon has fallen before, it will fall again. And this time, millions of people are watching as the signs spread across its rim, daring us to see them for what they are, a warning that history is preparing to repeat itself. Chapter 6. The Seismic Connection While heat and floods are accelerating the cracks, some scientists believe a deeper force may also be at play. Seismic activity. For decades, the Colorado Plateau was thought of as one of North America's most stable regions. But in recent years, sensitive instruments have begun detecting clusters of tiny earthquakes, barely noticeable to people, but significant to geologists. These microquakes, scattered across northern Arizona and southern Utah, could mean that hidden faults beneath the plateau are shifting. Some researchers suspect that the same ancient fractures that shaped the canyon millions of years ago may now be reactivating. The cracks opening on the canyon rim might be surface expressions of this deeper stress. The Grand Canyon, after all, is not isolated. It lies within a network of tectonic forces stretching across the American West, from the San Andreas Fault in California to the Rio Grande Rift in New Mexico. Pressure is always moving, always searching for release. If the plateau is beginning to yield, the Grand Canyon may not just be a passive victim of erosion, it could be an active seismic zone in disguise. The terrifying part is uncertainty. Are these cracks simply shallow fractures accelerated by climate extremes, or are they the first signs of tectonic awakening beneath one of the world's greatest natural wonders? The answer may determine whether the Grand Canyon continues to slowly erode or suffers a sudden and catastrophic break. Chapter 7. Humans at Risk for millions of years, the Grand Canyon changed in silence, with only the river and wind as witnesses. But today, more than six million people visit the canyon every year. Trails snake along precarious cliffs. Tourists cluster at lookout points perched on unstable rims. Whitewater rafters camp along the Colorado River beneath towering walls of fractured rock. This human presence turns geological instability into a potential disaster. A landslide that once would have gone unnoticed could now wipe out trails filled with hikers. A rockfall into the river could capsize boats and drown rafters. A major collapse along the rim could send tourists plunging hundreds of feet. Even infrastructure is at risk. Roads, visitor centers and power lines lie near unstable zones. A single massive rockfall could block access, isolate communities and cripple the tourism industry that sustains much of northern Arizona. The canyon's beauty has always come with danger, but never before has the scale of risk been so high. 
Millions of lives pass through its paths each year, often unaware of the cracks beneath their feet. Scientists fear that unless action is taken, monitoring expanded, trails reinforced, warning systems upgraded, the next collapse may not just be a geological event, it could be a human tragedy. Chapter 8 Climate Change and the Canyon's Future the Grand Canyon has endured ice ages, volcanic eruptions, and the slow march of erosion over millions of years. But never before has it faced a threat like this, human-driven climate change. Rising temperatures, violent storms, and shifting weather patterns are rewriting the canyon's future faster than nature ever intended. Heat waves are now longer and hotter, expanding cracks in stone until they snap. Monsoon rains, once predictable, are growing more extreme. Sheets of water pouring into fissures, prying them wider and deeper. Even the Colorado River, the lifeblood that carved the canyon, is changing. Reduced snowmelt and overuse have weakened its flow, altering the delicate balance that has sustained this wonder for ages. Climate change doesn't just speed up erosion, it destabilizes entire landscapes. What was once a process measured in millennia may now unfold in decades. Scientists warn that without intervention, some parts of the canyon could face accelerated collapses, reshaping its iconic walls within our own lifetimes. The Grand Canyon may have been carved by time, but today, time is running faster. And the cracks spreading across its cliffs are the physical evidence that the climate crisis is not just global. It is written in stone here in one of Earth's most sacred landscapes. Chapter 9 – What Lies Beneath Perhaps the most unsettling part of the Grand Canyon's cracks is not what we see, but what we don't. Beneath the surface, the canyon hides a labyrinth of fractures, voids, and ancient faults. Ground-penetrating radar has revealed networks of cracks stretching deep into the bedrock, some connecting in ways scientists cannot yet explain. These hidden systems act like ticking clocks. Stress builds quietly within them until, suddenly, it releases in the form of a rockfall, a landslide, or even an earthquake. The fissures now appearing on the rim may be just the visible tips of vast underground systems of weakness. There is also the mystery of water. Subterranean flows seep into these fractures, dissolving minerals, widening gaps, and preparing the rock for collapse. Some researchers believe that underground rivers, unseen and unmapped, may be carving their own hidden canyons beneath the surface. If true, then the Grand Canyon is not just eroding from above, it is hollowing out from below. This hidden world beneath the canyon holds the answers to its future. Will it collapse slowly, piece by piece, or could a massive rupture rewrite the landscape in an instant? Until scientists unlock these secrets, the cracks will remain an open question and a growing fear. Chapter 10 – The Canyon at the Breaking Point The Grand Canyon is more than a landmark. It is a chronicle of Earth's past, a cathedral of stone carved over millions of years. But now, it may also be a warning. Cracks are spreading across its cliffs. Landslides loom. The ground groans with stress, both ancient and new. For generations we saw the canyon as eternal, unchanging, unshakable. But the truth is different. Heat, floods, and tectonic pressure are tearing at its edges. Climate change is accelerating forces that once moved in silence, and hidden beneath its beauty are fractures that could one day collapse without warning. The Grand Canyon is not dying. It is alive, restless, shifting, and still carving its story. But its future may look very different from its past. If the cracks widen, if the cliffs fall, then one of the greatest wonders of the natural world could be reshaped within our lifetimes. And that leaves us with haunting questions. Are we witnessing just another chapter in the canyon's long life, or the beginning of a dangerous transformation? What secrets still lie buried beneath its stone? And when the next collapse comes, will it be small and silent, or catastrophic enough to rewrite the landscape forever? From fissures at the rim to mysteries deep below, the Grand Canyon is speaking. The question is, are we listening before it breaks apart? If you want more deep dive investigations into Earth's hidden dangers and shocking discoveries, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this video with anyone who believes the Grand Canyon is eternal. The cracks spreading across its walls prove otherwise. The land is alive, and it is changing faster than we think.